हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आज करेंगे आईएसआई एम मैथ 2020 का सलूशन सब्जेक्टिव आठ क्वेश्चन से कोशिश करेंगे तीन या चार वीडियो में पूरा कंप्लीट करने का ओके सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो नाउ नोटेशन आर डी नोट द सेट ऑफ रियल नंबर्स ओके सो लेट एफ एन बी ए सीक्वेंस ऑफ कॉन्टीन्यूस रियल वैल्यूड फंक्शंस ऑन जीरो टू वन सो कन्वर्जिंग यूनिफॉर्मली ऑन जीरो टू वन टू अ फंक्शन एफ सपोज दैट फॉर ऑल एन ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू वन देर एक्जिस्ट एक्स एन जीरो टू वन सच दैट एफ ऑफ एन एक्स एन इज जीरो सो दैट देर एक्जिस्ट एक्स बिलोंग्स टू जीरो टू वन सच दैट एफ एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो सो इन दिस केस द सेगमेंट जीरो टू वन इज एक्चुअली अ कॉम्पैक्ट स्ट्रक्चर ओके सो द सेगमेंट सेगमेंट इज कॉम्पैक्ट नाउ in this sorry part now if we just proceed the sequence x n n greater than equal to 1 the sequence x n which is n greater than equal to 1 following this structure so this is a this has a convergent subsequence If you don't know about the subsequence, if n, then 2n is a subsequence of n. So 1, 2, 3, 4, n, and this is only even. So 2n becomes a subsequence. So limit k tends to infinity, x n of k equal to x that belongs to 0 to 1. Okay. So the function f is continuous since it is uniform. Limit of the continuous functions. So f is continuous. Because of this given limit, and that is uniform. Now, let alpha greater than zero. Now there exists n greater than one such that n is greater than equal to capital N. Now the supremum value of this structure is where t belongs to zero to one. f n of t minus f t less than equal to um, maybe the given value which is alpha. So there exists k greater than equal to one such that for all this k for all k greater than equal to capital K. Of n k is greater than equal to capital N. So then we estimate that. So let me do it in this part. So then we estimate that f of x n of k mod less than equal to the difference. So x n of k f n of k x n subscript k plus f n of k x n of k this is less than equal to supremum of t belongs to 0 and 1 this is f t minus f n k T less than this value alpha. Okay, hence we have shown that there exists zero to one for that f x equal to zero. First part done. A. Next in the B part, give an example of a sequence f n which is continuous in the real valued function zero to infinity, converging uniformly into zero to infinity to a function f such that for each n greater than equal to one there exists x n satisfying that f n equal of x n equal to zero, but f satisfied f x that is cannot equal to zero. So for L x zero to infinity. So let in B part f n of x equal to e to the power minus x equal to one. Then I'm taking one. So f of x is e to the power minus x. So we have again supremum x greater than equal to zero. F of n of x f of x equal to one by n tends to zero if n tends to infinity. So again, f of n log of n 
equal to 0 so, but however if x greater than 0 is done for all values of x which is non-negative so it follows that mod fx is equal to limit k tends to infinity f of x of n of k less than equal to t so as t uh, sorry alpha as alpha greater than 0 is an arbitrary uh, constant over here so we can deduce that fx has to be 0 so second part is done now we move to question number 2 so let 0 comma 1 belongs to r be a continuous function we need to show this okay so f is a function which is bounded 0 to 1 bounded from both sides so let's c equal to supremum of f t less than infinity where t belongs to 0 comma 1 now let n greater than 2 by c so for all the values t belongs to 0 comma 1 if t n less than half so we use the elementary inequality to do that so log of 1 plus x minus x less than 2x square and mod x less than half less than equal to half so this represents the product in this case so product k equal to 1 to n 1 plus 1 by n f of k by n this thing is equal to e to the power or exponential i'm writing uh, log one plus one by n f of k by n okay so we have this estimate so let's go for this so modulus log of one plus one by n f of k by n this thing minus summation of one by n f of k by n this thing has to be less than or equal to summation of log of 1 plus 1 by n f of k by n minus 1 by n f of k by n so the difference it has to be more than this difference and that is less than equal to the double of f of k by n square n square and that is less than equal to uh, 2 c square by n okay hence we can write here So log of 1 plus 1 by n f of k by n minus 1 by n f of k by n this tends to 0 as n tends to infinity. So taking into account the convergence part so summation of 1 by n f of k by n tends to 0 to 1 now getting the limit fx dx n tends to infinity so we can deduce that that log of 1 plus 1 by n f of k by n this thing is nothing but 0 to 1 f of x dx as n tends to infinity once this has been done so finally let me just add a page here product k equal to 1 1 plus 1 by n f of k by n equal to exponential of this summation log of 1 plus 1 by n f of k by n this part so that is exponential of 0 to 1 f of x dx where n tends to infinity okay so hence it is being proved that's it In the next question, we will solve from question number 3.